Here we have a 2005 BMW 320 diesel SE in black. There is some damage to the vehicle as you'll see throughout the video. Starting with the offside front corner, as you can see a very heavy scuff here. Um, it's gone right into the paintwork. As you can see it leads all the way down to pretty much the front of the arch. You've got scuff marks all on the inner of the arch as well. Now there is a huge dent in the lower front bumper, as you can see just there. So just try and get a better angle of that. As you can see, a very large dent there on the offside front bumper as well. So do bear this. It's probably going to require a new front bumper to be honest. Um, as you can see, got some scuffs on the lower front bumper, stone chips, um, also another large dent there on the near side front corner as you can see completely dented in the front corner there um, so be aware of that light scratches all around it as well so light scuffs next to the headlight and light scratches, uh, scuffs just above the headlight there so probably going to require a new front bumper so be aware of that looking at the offside front tyre uh, looking at around three millimeters of tread offside front alloy they've got some light kerbs around the outer edge of the alloy itself so probably will require a refurb as you can see the paint starting the bubble on the inner of the alloy there looking now on the off side of the vehicle there's one or two minor dinks uh, which I'll show you in a second apart from that no signs really dents the off side of the vehicle a couple of stone chips to the mirror cap driver's door itself again just one or two light marks to the paintwork just require good polish just one or two light scratches around the door handle also some minor nicks in the door edge as well that could do with some touchings of paint. Both the sills are in good condition. Doesn't appear to be any dinks or any dents to the roof. Look at the rear passenger door again, just one or two light scratches. Again, not too bad. Uh, door edge is fine on the rear door. Very minor dink there in the actual petrol cap itself. And look at the rear quarter again, does look okay. We've got a bit of a, a light scuff. This is on the rear bumper now. Um, so some light scratches on the rear bumper, as you can see there. So again, they should be able to polish out. Look at the offside rear tyre. You've got a good five millimetres of tread there. Again, we've got some light curbing, unfortunately, around the outer edge of the rear alloy. So again, it probably could do with a refurb, to be honest. Moving around to the rear of the vehicle. You've got rear parking sensors on the car there, lots of scratches to the tailgate so will require polish. Again they should polish out, it shouldn't really be an issue. Very slight uh, indentation there and the bumper. Near side rear of the vehicle looks good. Again no sign of any real damage to the back of the car. Take a look in the boot, you've got all your book packs there. Nice clean condition. Again no sign of any spare wheel with the BMW. Um, moving on to the near side rear tyre. Uh, we're looking at a good four millimetres of tread there and the near side rear alloy as you can see a very heavy almost chip out of the alloy there as you can see again a lot of heavy curbing so definitely going to require a refurb there a lot of the paint starting to bubble on the interior of the uh, or inside of the alloy sorry looking down the near side of the vehicle take a look at the bodywork one or two very light dinks again no sign of any really dents like I said, near side rear quarter looks fine. Again, a couple of scratches, they should be able to polish out, no problem. No chips on the rear door edge. Some light scratches on the doors again. A couple of touchings on the door edge as well. Some light scratches around the door handles. Light scuffs across the mirror cap as well, so polish required there. And again, front tyre on the near side, looking at around 3mm. Again, very worn there on the outer edge. Near side front alloy, again, going to require a refurb, you can see a lot of curbing around the outer edge of the alloy there. Of course I've shown you the front bumper and the damage there. So take a look inside the vehicle. You have got the full black leather. A little bit dirty inside just requires a good valet. You can see a couple of marks um, on the leather there. No sign of any damage at all to the leather itself. So no damage again just requires a good valet. Back of the seats appear to be in good condition as well. See a little bit of wearing there to the centre console. Um, take a look in the driver's seat. Not bad condition, bit of wearing there to leather. Again, that's age related, no sign of any damage. Front passenger seat, also a slight bit of wearing, not as bad as the driver's seat. Dashboard, etc., is relatively tidy. Got some wearing there to the gear stick on the chrome. And again, 
showing signs of age on the steering wheel as well. Step inside the vehicle itself, we only have one key, and you can see that's not in the best condition either. Getting the car started. As you can see, there's a service light indicating there, so beware of the service light. Mileage wise, looking at 108,322 miles. No other symbols appearing on the dash apart from the service light. Multi function steering wheel, you've got the CD and radio. No problems at all with the radio, works fine. No problems at all with any of the blowers. I can see what the air conditioning on now, on and off, and that does come out nice and cold as well, so no issues there. Manual transmission. Taking a quick look at the documents. There is quite a few uh, stone chips on the window. As you can see, we've got one down here as well, so be aware of those. Looking at the V5, the car's had three owners. It does come with an MOT certificate, which ends here June 3rd, 2015, so plenty left on the MOT. Service history, there is no service book, but we have got receipts. As you can see, you've got a couple of receipts here of work done. That was on the 18th of October 2013. 6th of March 2014, so that's quite recent, you can see servicing etc, one new tyre as well um, we have 2nd of April 2012 24th of October 2013 and again 3rd of June there 2013 as well, so quite a few services the last one being on the 6th of March 2014 there we have it, it's the 2005 BMW 320 diesel SE um, as you can see, a bit of damage on the outside, only to the front bumper really, the rest of it's cosmetic, so probably will need a new front bumper, four wheel refurbs as well, and a bit of a polish inside, just needs a bit of a valet.